Hi Daedro. This experience happened while I was pregnant with my eldest. This was 22 years ago. I already have three kids now. You can call me Katie, not my real name. I grew up in the province in a small tropic country in Southeast Asia called Philippines. Me and my husband John, again, not his real name, were super happy when I got pregnant. This changed when our new neighbors from another province moved in. They rented a small apartment beside our house. They were husband and wife as well, probably around mid-40s, but I'm not really sure. We came over and greeted them the day they moved in. The wife's name is Tasha and the husband is Troy. They were kind and friendly so we became friends. They said they were married for 20 years now but didn't have any children. We talk and tell stories all the time when my husband is at work. A couple of months passed, they started coming over more often. Something felt different and weird. I can always catch them looking at my big tummy. Tasha even touches my belly and grins every time the baby moves and does a tiny kick. When I was 9 months pregnant, that's when things got creepy. I woke up one night from the sound of our dog howling and a noise that's coming from outside. It sounded like a big bird was flapping its wings above our house. Our house was a tiny bungalow with thin walls so I can hear the sounds coming from outside clearly. Then. Whatever it is that's flying outside, I heard it land on the roof. But something's wrong. The footsteps were heavy as if there's a human being walking on a roof. I felt really scared. Growing up in the Philippines, I am very familiar with vampire ghouls who target pregnant women. They are more popular with the term aswang. I immediately woke my husband up and we both heard the sounds on the roof so my husband took the samurai sword display in the living room and a flashlight then went outside. He checked the surroundings of the entire house but did not see anything. Starting that night, things became worse. Every night we are being awoken by footsteps on our roof. We also started hearing a tick tick ticking noise above our room. A few days of the same scenario passed and we started hearing some scratches above us. We also noticed a small hole above our bed. December of year 2000, I felt that I was going to give birth already. We did the home water birth with the help of our midwife neighbor. This was before our country passed the Maternal, Newborn and Child Health and Nutrition Strategy Policy, referred to as No Home Birth Policy. Anyway, by 10 p.m., our son was successfully born. As my husband was cleaning up the water mixed with my blood in our backyard, he suddenly shouted. He saw two human-like figures on our roof looking at him. As he went inside to get his samurai sword, I heard a noise from above as if someone jumped from the roof but I did not hear them land. When my husband came out, they were no longer there. I asked my husband why. He said he saw Troy and Tasha on our roof staring at him. He went to their house but there was no one there. We never saw Troy and Tasha again.